Welcome to Liberty Nation TV. I'm Scott Casenza here with Jeff Charles. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Jeff, you are our socio-political correspondent, and uh, you took to uh, the pages of LibertyNation.com to write about the wokeness uh, sort of uh, infecting media. Uh, we've seen editors at once highly regarded uh, papers like the New York Times and the Philadelphia Inquirer be dismissed or resign in lieu of dismissal. Uh, what was their great sin? Yeah, and in any of these cases, the great sin was breaking one of the, the uh, tenets of, uh, of the woke theology, basically. They basically violated a precept and they had to be punished. And what were those precepts? Oh, that can be anything from saying something negative about Hillary Clinton to not being hardened up on Trump or to really, uh, or even cases where you're not kowtowing to the woke crowd when it comes to race or or fighting racism or things like that, like in the case of Li Fang. Any of the sort of progressive uh, religious commandments then, perhaps? Exactly, they have, well see, the Bible has 10 commandments. The woke church has like a million commandments, so it's very easy right. to break one. Infinity commandments. Yes. Uh, you talk a lot about uh, Matt Taibbi's journalism uh, on this. What, what is his take? Yeah, you know, he went on Hill TV, and I, and I was glad that he did it because he had actually written a piece on his own site about this issue, about how the, pre the press is basically starting to destroy themselves because of woke culture. And he was basically lamenting the fact that he has seen uh, an uptick in the number of journalists and editors who are being punished, whether it's damage to their reputation or whether it's them going all the way up to losing their jobs because they they don't necessarily adhere to the line that the woke crowd has established. And like I brought up the thing before, he got into deep trouble just because he reported on something that was dealing with the riots that they didn't want that they didn't want to be heard. Explain everybody quickly, if you would, what happened to uh, to Lee Fang. Yeah. So basically, when when the uh, riots and the protests were going on uh, for George Floyd. Um, he interviewed um, a, a person in Oakland, a, a black man in Oakland, he interviewed him to get his input on what he thought was going on here. And, and the black man uh, basically told him that he had lost two cous cousins to street violence and basically black on black crime. You know, and he, he pointed out that when a white, an officer kills a black man or a white person kills a black man and they can inject race into it, then the media goes crazy over it. But the media will not cover what happens in in neighborhoods every day? Basically, they they don't they don't pay attention when black people are killing each other. They only pay attention when they can, can inject racism into it. When in reality, they should be covering both. I have seen uh, you know, Andy No uh, is a reporter who was beaten by uh, Antifa in the streets. And uh, are they targeting? Are the Antifas targeting any journalists or only the ones who are honest and sort of show their their violence? Or or what is the the scoop there? It doesn't seem like they can decide because I mean I've seen reports of them attacking journalists who are on their side I don't think they can really tell the difference But if it is somebody who they know isn't on their side and who's gonna report the truth They will attack or find other ways to get that person out of there I mean, I've, I've seen that at a lot of these events where they come and crash it They'll even have instructions for their operatives on how to deal with journalists or, or how to direct them to where they want them to be They even have directions or journalists that when they come in like you you'll report this you won't report that you can talk to this person you can't talk to that person so they 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 definitely had have a, a big fear of the press because the press might expose them which I don't really know what they're afraid of because the press has done more to cover for them than to actually condemn them but when it comes to uh, reporters who will tell the truth yeah they're, they're gonna get violent with them and Andy knows just one of them do you have um a prescription for sort of return to honest uh, journalism here with these legacy media properties? At this point, I don't know if it's possible. I think that there would have to be a huge backlash against it, and I don't know if we're going to see that. Uh, they don't have like a Dave Chappelle, like somebody who's immune to, to cancel culture. They're all vulnerable to it. So I, it's either they're going to get tired of it and push back against it in droves, or they're just going to be forced to, to, to toe the line or go independent. For LibertyNation.com and LNTV, this is Scott Casenza with Jeff Charles. Jeff, thank you for joining me. Thank you. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Go deeper on the topic discussed in this video. Head on over to one of these links here or go to our Liberty Nation Roku channel. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Liberty.